Hey guys, it's Ryan with AIinsidertips.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can humanize AI generated content to bypass these AI content detectors. As you'll see here, what I just put into this CopyLeaks AI content detector is 100% AI generated, but it's passing it as human text. I also checked the GPT-0 AI content detector, and it's only flagging about 3% of this output as AI generated. So I know that this does work as of this video recording. So the secret sauce here is a custom GPT called Humanizer Pro. And you may have heard of this, but what this is doing is it's actually pretty incredible, is it's using, it looks like this software, gptinf.com is what it's using in its outputs. And you can copy and paste AI generated content and it'll re-spin it to sound more human-like and help bypass these AI content detectors. So I'm gonna show you how to do this in this video. So if I pull up chat GPT and just do, you know, a simple GPT for prompt, no custom GPT, um, I am on chat GPT plus and that's how I do have access to these custom GPTs, but I'm going to show you a way at the end where you can use this tool without being a member of chat GPT plus. So what I did in this example, is I said, write me a 2000 word blog post with the primary keyword, best custom GPTs. Use a serious writing tone, H2s and H3s, add FAQs and make the content sound like it was written by a human. And so you'll see here is the output that it produced. So I'm gonna copy and paste what ChatGPT produced using the GPT-4 language model, just the standard prompt here. And then I'm gonna copy and paste it into the copy leaks AI content detector. So if I hit paste, it's gonna say AI content detected, 100% AI content detected. Same with GPT-0, I'm gonna refresh this, copy and paste the output here, check origin, 100% AI generated. So you'll see these content detectors are getting pretty good and they're very good when it comes to GPT-4 and GPT-3.5 because that is what most people are using to generate AI content. And so now let's come back to the Humanizer Pro uh, custom GPT. What I'm going to do, and I will leave a link to this, if you are a member of ChatGPT+, you can access this, is I'm gonna click here, I'm gonna say click here to humanize your content. And here it's gonna prompt the tool up. So it says, please provide the text you would like to humanize. So I'm gonna paste the text that I use from this first output about the 2000 word blog post. So I pasted it here, I'm gonna click enter, and this will take some time to generate. So guys, I'm going to skip ahead and wait for the output from the Humanizer Pro GPT to finalize. So here's the response from the Humanizer Pro custom GPT. And again, I mentioned this towards the beginning of the video, but what they are using for these outputs is this website called gptinf.com. And I already have it pulled up here and I'll leave a link to this in the description below as well. But they're not using GPT-4 to respin content generated by GPT-4. It's important that you understand that because there are a lot of these content rewriters out there that are using GPT-4, GPT-3.5, Gemini, Claude, all these open source models. They're just using it to respin AI generated content. And that doesn't really accomplish the mission of passing these AI content detectors. They're getting very sophisticated now and they can definitely track those types of things. So here is the tool, and if you do not have ChatGPT+, Plus, you can start a free trial with this gptinf.com. And then on their website, they say, say hello to the future of content generation with GPT in for INF, however you, they pronounce that, an innovative tool engineered to make AI generated content undetectable. Start creating authentic, engaging content today in just a couple of clicks. If there is a detector, we bypassed it. And here they list all the popular AI content detectors. As, as you'll see here, I'm using GPT-0 and also copy links. They also have Turnitin, which is very interesting. I know there's a lot of schools and educational institutions that use that one. Um, so they might be in trouble when tools like this emerge and, and come to the come at play here. Um, so here they do have a premium model. So it's 12 bucks a month on the monthly plan. You get a 10,000 words per month cap, um, compare mode, customer support, or there's an annual option here too. For eight bucks a month, uh, 10,000 word cap, you get four free months here as well. And you can also bump up your word count. So the most expensive plan you could do is $349 a month, which gets you that 500,000 word a month cap. Now, what I don't know is for the custom GPT, 
what your word cap is here. I haven't done enough of these outputs to really hit a cap. So if you have chat GPT plus, I would just suggest sticking to the humanizer pro option uh, since you're already paying for it. But if you don't have that, you can start a free trial on gptinf.com and you can start putting this tool to the test. So I'm gonna X out of that. And let's put this now to the test. Let's see if it passes these AI content detectors. So I'm gonna copy and paste this entire output from Humanizer Pro, come over to the first content detector, which is copy leaks. I'm gonna refresh that. I'm gonna click paste, click check. And as you see, it says this is human text. So it is bypassing the first detector, which is copy links, copy leaks, excuse me. Let's go now to GPT-0. I'm gonna refresh this. I'm gonna paste the text, click check origin, and let's see what this says. So it says 15% probably AI generated. Um, so that's not saying 100% human generated. So it is flagging something here, um, but still 15% AI generated would pass a lot of things if you were to turn this into someone and they saw that. Um, just for another measure, I'm gonna type in AI content detector and let's try one more. I know Quillbot's a popular one. Let's actually try Quillbot and Writer. I'm gonna try both of these. So I'm gonna paste the text here, click analyze text, 98% human generated content. So again, this one it passed as well. Now let's go to Quillbot. I'm gonna paste the text in Quillbot, click analyze text. This one's a little more, it caught on to it a little bit more. It says 38% of text is likely AI generated. Um, so Quillbot is not falling for this, it appears. So it depends on the content detector that you're using, of course. Um, but still, most people are going to use whatever detectors are ranking high on Google when they search for AI content detector. And copy links, copy leaks, excuse me, is ranking number one for AI content detector. So just by default, I would assume that this is the number one content detector that people are using. Um, so if I come back to this, now you can see here why this is so important of a custom GPT, and that is how you humanize AI generated content. So if you're on ChatGPT Plus and you're wondering how to get this, I'll leave a link below for quick access, but what you can do is click Explore GPTs. You can search for it, you can type in Humanizer, and it should pop up here as Humanizer Pro. Or what you can do is under trending, it might be there, but you can find it under writing. It's the number two custom GPT in the writing category. And if you click it, this just shows you here the ratings. It has almost a 3.8, I believe it's out of five, uh, over 10,000 ratings, number two in writing. And it's been used over a million times in terms of someone clicking the start chat button. So that is pretty incredible, has a lot of five-star ratings. Um, and this is the person that created it. It's this charlieaisolutions.com. So you can do more research on the developer creator behind this custom GPT. Um, you guys can do all the digging yourself here as well. Um, but that's it, guys. The last thing I want to let you guys know about is my free guide on the best AI side hustles in 2024. Now, I personally use these AI side hustles to generate more than $5,000 a month in passive income online. And you can get this free guide in the video description or pinned comment below. So that's it, guys. Again, this is Ryan with AI Insider Tips. Really appreciate you watching this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Did you know about the Humanizer Pro Custom GPT? Are there other tools that you're using to bypass AI content detectors? Really curious to hear your thoughts. Also, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you found value. Give it a thumbs down if you didn't find value. That helps me out in the future. Be sure to subscribe at AI Insider Tips for more AI tips and tricks just like this one. And guys, the very last thing that I want to mention, and this is very important, is that in no way by me making this video am I endorsing 100% AI generated content. I've always been a believer that you should leverage AI and then polish it with a human voice, with actual words from yourself, with actual images. Uh, I do not endorse 100% AI generated content, especially when it comes to academic papers, cover letters, resumes, um, any essays that you're writing or just anything like that, I do not endorse 100% AI generated content. So please do not take this video the wrong way. I am just showing you something cool that I thought that I found cool and I wanted to share with you guys um, and hope to provide some sort of value. So again, I do not endorse 100% AI generated content. And that's it guys. Thanks for watching and I hope you all have a great day.